hi guys welcome back to another video today I wanted to show you our baby's nursery I say baby's nursery because um, as you may have heard me mention in my month 8 pregnancy vlog we don't have a typical nursery as such we have a section in our spare room which is a multi-purpose room where we have the baby's change table and storage, which is behind me, and then baby's bassinet is in our room. But even though it's not a traditional nursery as such, I just thought I would show you what we have got in terms of baby's setup. Um, I love watching these type of videos, and so I thought I would make my own for anyone else who enjoys watching them as well. So I'll just take you through a quick run through of what we have. So this is the main portion of baby's setup. We've got this beautiful change table chest of drawers that we got for £20 on Facebook Marketplace. Cheering. So we've obviously got the change mat. Now I did say this spare room is multi-purpose. As you can see, we have a mattress for visitors set up against the wall, which folds down into this incredibly small space <laughs> for visitors. And we also have our study area um, in here as well. So very multi-purpose room. Um, oh, also I have here, I have the carry cot for the pram with the rain covers and the adapters for our car seat to strap into our pram. And this bouncer chair, which I got at a charity shop for £5 with gizmo in there. We also have the other part of the pram down here. That's the older seat section and a carrier that we got at a charity shop as well. So they're down there, stored there. But in terms of what is in these drawers, um, first drawer is all of our cloth nappies. So we are intending to cloth nappy. We've got a heap of these pocket diapers, um, which I'm not expecting to use at first because I don't believe they will fit. They're, they're meant to be like newborn to potty training size because you can change the elastics around there and you change um, the poppers at the front to suit the size of the baby but still I've heard that newborns struggle in them sometimes so for that reason we have a whole heap of muslins that we are intending to use as flats with these newborn size covers and we've got snappies here as well so that's what we intend to use for babies nappying in the newborn stage before moving on to these um, kind of all-in-one pocket diapers. Every single item in here was secondhand apart from the snappies. We bought them new. Everything else we bought secondhand. Um, we're really proud about. So that is that drawer. Our second drawer is all of baby's clothing for I think we've got newborn and zero to three months in here. So these are all just vests, both sleeveless, short sleeve and long sleeve vests. These are all sleep suits, these are all hats, we've got some little socks and bibs down here, and then we've got um, two outfits back there that were gifted to us, um, absolutely gorgeous. That is actually a nursing cover that I'm going to whack in um, our nappy bag once I start doing outings out. Then we've got these beautiful cardigans that we've got a whole heap here that Dan's mum Angela knitted. And they are so gorgeous. A lot of these hats are to match as well. And then these beautiful cardigans as well to here that my f beautiful friend's mother made for us. So that is just super, super sweet. Um, obviously repping the Harry Potter stuff in here as well, <laughs> of course. We tried to keep things quite minimal. Um, we did end up getting gifted a lot of things as well, so we were very glad that we only bought the minimum amount because, yeah, we were gifted quite a lot and we probably wouldn't have room for it otherwise. <laughs> In all of our clothing bar, I think maybe two items we purchased secondhand. So we've done really well in terms of secondhand stuff. And down in this bottom drawer, it's kind of a mismatch. We've got a couple of blankets in here. We've got a spare sheet for the carry cot for our pram, a spare sheet for our bassinet. Um, these are two zippered kind of sleep suit swaddle things. And then other muslins to use as swaddles. We've got, oh, all kinds of things in this little one. We've got two comforters. We've got some little booties. We've got some Christmas bibs. I can't wait to whack them out for Christmas. Oh, this beautiful bunting, which I would love to be able to hang up, but we live in a rental at the moment. So I'm still trying to figure out how I can hang this up without, you know, damaging the wall or anything. But this was handmade for me by 
a beautiful parent of one of the children that I looked after at the nursery and oh it's just so sweet we've got this teether and yeah just some random stuff in that bottom drawer oh we've also got <laughs> I love these this was brought back from America by Dan's mum and stepdad they went to the south of America and like Gatorland and they brought this bath toy set back for baby so we can't wait until baby's old enough to play with that because that is just hilarious so that is everything in that drawer as well so we haven't got too much but um we as i said we tried to keep things quite minimal moving over here we've got our changing setup kind of this container has cloth wipes in it which will just be um, covered in water so they'll be wet or ready for use when I change baby. And then we've got some coconut oil which I intend to use as a nappy balm. And we were also gifted, again by a very sweet parent of a child I looked after, gifted me this organic baby balm by Neil's Yard. So I'll probably be giving that a go as well. Um, this beautiful painting was made for me by one of my co-workers at the nursery. Isn't it gorgeous? A little bit of Australia for baby there. Down here we've got more more of the cloth wipes. Um, these cloth wipes I actually I made from old t-shirts, believe it or not. <laughs> and then in here we've got um, we've got two dummies. They're kind of they're probably not going to stay there, but they're there for the moment just because I have nowhere else to put them. We've got baby's soap and body lotion and a heap of washcloths that we'll use as both washcloths but also burp cloths. I've got in the back there, just because I have nowhere else to store them, I've got a baby bottle, that's a glass baby bottle, um, and a breast pump. Um, I'm intending to exclusively breastfeed, but I feel like it's a good idea to have one bottle on hand just in case I either need to express breast milk or need to formula feed at some point. Um, we've also got a little kit there that's got, um, you know, nail clippers, um, baby hairbrush, thermometer, all that kind of thing. And then down here we've just got a few toys. This beautiful keepsake box was also gifted to me by a lovely colleague slash parent of a child I looked after at the nursery as well. Um, and then these toys... This orangutan was Dan's when he was a kid, so we brought him back from his mum's house just the other week. These guys were little presents for baby from his mum and stepdad as well from their trip to America. Also we've got Sid the snake, um, also Dan's when he was a child, and we have no idea where to put him at the moment, so he is just on the floor. Sorry Sid. These books, the complete works of Beatrix Potter, these were mine when I was a child um, at my grandmother's house and when I went back to Australia just recently for her funeral I grabbed them and brought them back because they are very very special to me. I also got this um, little tower stacking blocks at a charity shop and this Harry Potter music box was gifted to me by my lovely co-workers as well. So that is everything in this shelving unit as well and then we just have the nappy bin and my hospital bags just next to it there ready to go we got that nappy bin secondhand with our first bundle of secondhand nappies so that's now everything for this room i will show you the setup in our bedroom so far it's not special at all <laughs> okay here in our room our bassinet will be set up here currently it is in pieces over here but we have done a test setup and it fits perfectly down the side of the bed here it's a chico next to me um so it's kind of like a co-sleeper so this bassinet is what baby is going to be sleeping in for the first roughly six months um until they outgrow it and it slots down the side of the bed in this space here um, so it means that I'll be within arm's reach of baby without having baby actually in the bed, having their own space there. I've heard amazing things about these Chico next to me and we actually borrowed this one from a friend um, who has absolutely loved using it with their daughter. So I'm looking very forward to having that for baby. I'll try and insert a photo of how it looks while well set up here or a photo of what a Chico next to me looks like set up 
um, because I don't have it set up right now. It just makes it a bit too difficult being heavily pregnant, trying to get in and out of bed, having it there at the moment. So we plan to just set it up whilst I'm in early labor probably, so that when we come back home it's already there, we don't have to worry about setting it up then, but until that point there's no use having it there because it just makes getting in and out of bed even more difficult for me. Down by the side of my bed as well, sorry excuse my massive pregnancy pillow under there, um, Underneath these books that I've been reading, including my hypnobirthing book, I have my mummy box, I'm calling it, and this is like postpartum stuff. So I've got some cloth nipple pads, I've got some cloth, cloth postpartum pads, I've got some witch hazel, and a beautiful massage bar that a parent gifted me as well. I've also got my diffuser slash humidifier. It's probably not going to stay there because I feel like it's going to be too close to baby's head being there. So I may have to find another spot for it in our bedroom. Another essential, having a water bottle by the bed and this um, salt lamp I will use as our nightlight in uh, the middle of the night for feedings with baby. Obviously this radiator we will not have turned on whilst the co-sleeper cot is set up right next to it because that would be dangerous and we like to keep things safe here kids. So that is pretty much everything. Um, I don't think there's anything else to show you. Like I said, very minimalist, not exactly your traditional nursery tour, but this is what we have. And I thought I'd show you what we do have in terms of our setup here for baby. With that done, I'll sign off and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.